Hey y'all, it's your girl Tiana. I can only be me, and I am coming at you with a new uh, recipe. Today we're gonna be making some hamburger smother and gravy, um, some rice and just some corn, just something quick. Get out the kitchen. Um, welcome, welcome, welcome to all my new family members, and welcome back to all my old faithful family members. How y'all doing, sugar boo? How y'all doing? All right, y'all. So for this ingredient for this recipe, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need you some ground beef, however much you feel you may need to make you some patties up for your family. Um, that's you need some ground beef. You're gonna need some saltine crackers. This these ain't got no salt on them. I don't think. Um, you're gonna need you just a little flour. You can have saltine crackers or flour, okay? But I, I, I like to use both of them. Also, I like to use breadcrumbs, but I ain't got no breadcrumbs. So, I'm going to use the saltine crackers this time. Let me change that up because I did say I like to use both of them. This will be my first time using the crackers in this since I don't have any breadcrumbs. So, but even when I have breadcrumbs, I like to use the breadcrumbs and the flour and both of them together. So, this is some self-rising flour. I hope it is. It might be all purpose though. Yeah, it looked like all purpose. Um, but it'll be all right. So we're gonna need some crackers, some um or breadcrumbs, Italian style breadcrumbs, seasoned breadcrumbs, whatever kind of breadcrumbs you want to use. Um, you can use regular bread, like two two slices or three slices of regular bread. You can toast it up. You don't have to toast it up. You can just break it up and crumble it up in it. You know, it's just for moisture. You gonna um then you're gonna need you some ranch seasoning. You can buy them in a the package, but I happen to have this big one. I get it from Sam's. You're gonna need some Lipton onion soup mix. Now using both of these, you're gonna have to be careful. You ain't really gonna be able to use salts and stuff like that because both of these is salty. Okay, you're gonna need you some. Um, um w sauce all right yeah the w sauce the one can't nobody say you need some of that you're gonna need you some onion powder garlic powder onions you're gonna use however much onions that you would like to use it's your choice ain't nobody telling you what to do use what you want to use put what you want to put in your stuff the, the onions is optional really you can use them if you want to you don't if you don't want to you ain't got to that's how it is all right you're gonna need you some garlic and you're gonna need you an egg or two. Just depends on how much you mixing up. And this one right here, I'm just gonna need just one egg because it's not that much meat. Um, so I'm just gonna use one egg. But on top of this, I had got started. And I said, girl, what you doing? You over here done got started and ain't over here showing your family how you finna cook this meal. What's wrong with you? You better get it together. So I said, girl, hold up. Let me get it together then. Okay. All right, so got my meat in my bowl, ground beef. Got my um minced um garlic in there. I'm gonna crack the egg in it. Okay. Then I'm gonna take me some some, some of these crackers. Um, I'm gonna eyeball it, but I'm gonna count for you how many I done put in here. It don't even matter because you might be using more meat than meat, so why do it matter how many crackers we use? We're just gonna use enough. But um, yeah, so we're gonna take up some of these crackers and we're gonna crumble it up in there just like that, right there. Mm -hmm, that might be good enough. Y'all, yeah, I think this is gonna be good. Ooh, try. This is my first time trying it with the um crackers, y'all. So I will most definitely let y'all know how I like that. You're gonna take you about maybe two to three tablespoons of flour and add it to your meat then you're gonna season it with you some of this ranch seasoning don't go too heavy on it then you depends on how much meat you have you might have to use a whole pack of the onion soup mix a whole pack or you might have to use half a pack. Just depends on how much meat you have. But like I say, you don't want this to be salty. But at the same time, we're going to make a gravy. So we're going to need some of that salt. But just don't make it too much, too, too salty. Okay? All right. So now I'm gonna add, we're going to add all of that. Honey, it looked like they forgot to add some onions up in there. <laughs> okay. So then we're gonna take our garlic powder and we're gonna pour some some up in there, honey, sugar boo. 
add whatever you want to add, okay? It's your stuff. Put however much you want to add. We're going to add this onion powder. I probably call that onion powder, but that's garlic powder. And this one, onion powder. So we're going to put some of that on up in now. And then we're going to take us some of this, uh, Oh, we ain't even put the W sauce in our child. What, what we got going on? Put the W sauce in here. Just shake you some. Shake you some. You're going to probably shake you about two tablespoons of it. How about that? About two tablespoons, two and a half if you want to do that. It's up to you. It's your stuff. You do what you want to do. You put what you want to put because it's yours. Okay. All right. So, we're going to add another herb. I just might. Let me tell y'all something about me. When I cook. My juices get to flowing, and then my mind be like, oh, you got that up there. Just go and throw that in there and try that. And, oh, you got that over there, girl. Put them together and see what it tastes like. I'm that kind of cook, okay? And it come out good, okay? So as long as it tastes good in the end, that's all that matter, right? Okay, that's as long as we got that established. So we're going to take us some of these thyme leaves. Since we're making a gravy, might as well, right? So we're going to take us some of these thyme leaves. And we're going to put us a little thyme off up in here. And just add you about, just a little bit. And, and, and don't go crazy with it. Just add you some in there, okay? And that's all I really thought to add just then. If you want to, we can just go and throw some parsley off in there. How about that? Throw some little parsley off in there. Make it seem like you done did a little something. All right, so we ain't going to overdo the ground beef now. Come on now. All right, so... We're going to set this to the side for a second, just for a second, because now we're about to cut up this onion. And you can add as much onion, as less onion, or no onion as you would like to your food, okay? You can add some bell pepper to it. Go head on. Ain't nobody telling you what to do, boo. You do you, okay? All right. So, we're going to cut this onion up, and we're going to get it off in this um, meat. I hope y'all ringing the doorbell. Don't y'all come over here trespassing and ringing that doorbell. Y'all better be ringing that doorbell now. All right, so I'm going to take this onion. You could dice it up if you want to, if you don't want it to be visible. But this is flavor, y'all. Add onions and bell peppers and stuff like that to your food. It gives it flavor, okay? I love onions and stuff in my food. They complain, but they still eat. Okay, listen, they be eating good. You know they do. All right. So we're just going to take this onion and we're just going to cut it thin. I'm going to cut mine in slices like this. And I'm going to add quite a bit to mine because I'm not going to add no onion to my gravy because the onion is already going to be cooking in the meat, you know? So that way, everything be all good. And in this food, y'all know food have family unions. I told y'all, everything going to be good in this food family union, honey. This one a little thick, so I'm going to cut this in half a little more. Just finish cutting on the Okay. I might not add all these, y'all. This, this here is a lot of onion, so I might not add that much. But the rest I'm going in the refrigerator. They already cut up and they will get used, honey. We ain't worried about it. Okay. So, now we got those onion. And we're going to take them and add them right into this ground beef. And do the same thing with your bell peppers. Add them right on in there. Because when it's cooked, everybody is going to get cooked together. And when this food family reunion come together, honey, when I tell you, boo-boo, it's going to be so 
It's like gonna be a food explosion in your mouth. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So that's what I got. So now we're gonna take our hands because you gotta get in the in the like swim well and get everything all mixed around. So everybody got to come together and get to know one another, honey. But when I tell you this is gonna be so good, y'all, yes, the onions is gonna be visible. Yes, boo boo. That's what we want. We want everything to be visible, honey. Ain't nothing trying to hide because they coming together and they having a good time. Right about now. By the time everything get cooked up, hooked up and booked up together in this pot, Oh, baby. Y'all ain't gonna be studying the onion, honey. Probably be looking for some more. Okay, you better holler if you hit me. <laughs> Listen, y'all. My mind just told me to add something else, y'all. So, we're gonna add us a little mustard to this. Mustard gonna give it its own good natural flavor as well, y'all. So, we're gonna throw some mustard off up in there. Okay, I'm gonna mix this in some more. Y'all know I love to add mustard to my foods. Mustard gives your food good flavor. Listen, this I've been adding mustard to food since I've been learning how uh, since I knew how to cook. So yes, mustard give your food a good flavor. All right, so make sure I got to squish it together good. All right, so I'll meet you at the stove. All right, family, so we over at the stove. I don't know why I put my rings back on. We over at the stove, and now you just gonna... Y'all wanna see this part too at the same time. So now you're gonna take your patties as big as you would like them. I like them big as the palm of my hand, y'all. That's how big, I, how much meat I grab. And so you make them the palm of your hand. If you want them bigger, add more. So now we're gonna pat the meat down and together and around. And y'all look at how well seasoned those patties is, y'all. You can see the bread, the um, cracker store, the onions, the all the seasonings, all that stuff. So, first of all, what I'm gonna do is, to my pan, I'm just gonna add just a little bit of oil, whatever kind of oil you wanna use, olive oil, vegetable oil, grapeseed oil, whatever kind of oil. Add just some oil to your pan. And I've already preheated it, but I didn't have it going that hot, but I got my cast iron skillet and I'm going to lay my patties down in there. Ooh. Okay. Now we just go. Get them all in the pan, as many as we can. It's gonna be a one pan pot meal, y'all. I'm, I'm gonna do the gravy and everything right in this pan. You want all that flavor that's gonna be built up in the bottom. Don't have your eye too hot because you don't want to burn your onions and stuff. So have it at a controllable temperature. What I do is, I just grab up me some meat, get all the stuff in there, and I just I just keep doing it like this, so kind of like forming it to a ball, and you're using your thumb to help do that. 
Okay, so then when you get it all together pretty much, I just mash it down, mess that ball right on up. That's all I do. Get them in there. Then I'm, I need to make room for one more. It's gonna fit in here, honey. But I wanted to do it in the pan because I wanted the burgers to have a grill mark. Even though I'm not eating, we're not eating hamburger hamburgers, but you know, I just want them to have a grill mark on them. I need to get this. Hold on, y'all. I gotta get this something. So I'm gonna let those brown in the, on that side. I'm gonna turn them over and then let them brown on the other side and then we're gonna go on to the next step. All right, y'all, so now I'm gonna flip the burgers over and I'm gonna do these on my edges first. Okay, so I'm And the purpose of putting the flour in them is to keep them from shrinking. I ain't getting no grill marks because I ain't got them up that high. But it's side, it's side. Woo, these burgers. No, they look good, honey. About to make me say dang the gravy. Okay. Oh, that bad boy on some bread. Woo! All right, so I'm gonna let them cook on the other side, and we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, y'all, so now we about to start our gravy. Look, I know we about missing the one right here, but <laughs> I've been eating it, y'all. And it is so good. So, now what we, I'm about to take that little piece out of it, though. But now what we about to do is make the gravy. So we're gonna take our water. Right into that pan. And it's not that salty at all, y'all. Really, it's not. So you're gonna take your enough water to deglaze that pan and also come up over those, just up to the burgers, okay? So now, I know they look dark, but like I said, that darkness is what's gonna help with the gravy, the color of the gravy. So, you don't want them too light because we're not cooking the um the roux. I'm showing y'all a quicker way to do this. So, gonna let that come up to a simmer boil. Let it come up to a boil. You're gonna take you any kind of thickener. You could take you some cornstarch. You could take you just some flour and water, whatever you wanna use. So, 
I'm finna take me some cornstarch. What was that? Probably about two tablespoons of it. I'm gonna take me some beef seasoning. You know, like the chicken seasoning? Okay, they got the beef one. And don't be careful with that because this is salty. Then we're just going to add us some water. Quite a little. Just depends on how much you're making. And you're going to make that slurry. I need me something sturdy, child. Stuff in the bottom. Hold on, let me get a little. There's a little liquid down in there. You see how the, that's getting dark and cold over there? I'm gonna just let y'all see what I'm talking about. It don't got dark over there in color. Sorry if I was scraping, but I had to get it off the bottom. Y'all see how dark that on got? That's gonna be a nice color gravy, y'all. So we're gonna take this mixture and we're just gonna pour it right on in here. And that's gonna make that thicken up. And we're just gonna let them simmer in this gravy y'all until the gravy just don't they don't soak up all the gravy and everything don't turn it down on the medium to simmer it okay put that darker piece down because that's going to help to keep darkening up that gravy but look at here y'all didn't have to use no kitchen bouquet no, none of that. They'll try to fake the foam. This the real color of this gravy if you do your burgers like I did. Okay. So we're going to taste this gravy. You got to taste the food to know what it tastes like, y'all. Okay. You know if it's seasoned and stuff. You don't want no bland gravy. Don't nobody want no bland gravy. Mm -mm. Put some little crumbs in there. Okay, so now we're gonna taste the gravy. Still use a little bit more help. So I'm gonna take some. You season it how you need to season yours now. Mine can still use some help. So I'm adding me some Tony seasoning because Tony's gonna give me a kick in. It's gonna give me the seasoning that I need. I'm gonna add me some of this garlic powder in here. Okay. I ain't never told you that she ain't gonna have to go back and add no seasoning. I didn't want to say that. Okay. Since we added that ranch, we're gonna add some of this ranch to this gravy and see what they going see what that be working with just a little bit. You know, we want that to come through for the come through too. Okay. And, and that's all we're gonna add. I was looking for my onion powder though. And see, this is a nice this is a nice loose gravy. It ain't too thick. I'm just turning these over because of seasoning on this side. It ain't gonna be too thick of a gravy, too heavy. You know, sometimes gravy can be too heavy. You want a nice and light gravy sometimes. <clears throat> I'm 
gonna taste that again. Give another taste. Hey, I'm gonna get this little piece of meat right here that I came off and taste that with it. Boom. Right there. Right there, right there. It smells so good with that ranch seasoning, y'all. All right, y'all. So we're gonna let this simmer until the meat kind of like absorb that gravy and stuff like that, and then I'm gonna come back. All right, well, we finna get to cooking these green beans in this rice, honey, so everything be done together. All right, y'all, so I got three cups of water. Wait, three and a half cups of water that I'm gonna bring up to a boil. We're gonna put the rice. I'm gonna put them in, put that down, put the lid on, and let it come up to a boil. You have to use this cup. You have to use this cup for liquid, y'all. You can't use that cup for dry to measure your rice. Okay, so now I got me some white rice, white rice, long grain, white rice. <clears throat> and what was that, three and a half cups? So I'm gonna take two cups of rice. And this is half cup that I'm using. To measure your rice or any dry good flour or whatever, you have to use the measuring cups like this. This these measuring cups is to measure dry goods. Okay, so now I'm going to wash my rice. So to wash my rice, I just got it in this cup right here. And I'm going to rinse it off on the cold water like so and i run the water on it pull the water off of it until it runs not so foggy you see how foggy it is you don't want it to be foggy like that so you're gonna run some more water on it and just wash it just like this rice is dirty y'all rice can be dirty you don't have to do the parboiled rice like this but it's white rice it's good to wash it and it make it taste better. Okay. So normally you'll have to do it up to like three to four times. You see the water getting clearer. It ain't gonna get all the way clear when you're trying to do that. Only thing we trying to do is, only thing we trying to do is, where it's not so foggy like it was. You see the difference? It's not so foggy like it was the first and second and third time. You see it? That's what you want right there. And I just let a little bit stay in there because it kind of helped to get the rice out. So, okay. So now I'm just basting them with the gravy. Like that. And look. The gravy is nice and not too thick. So I recommend that you use the cornstarch to make the gravy, y'all. If you can if you can help it. If not, it'll be fine to do it with the um flour. So yeah, y'all, this gonna be so good over some rice. Yes, yes, yes. All right, <clears throat> so now we finna get started with the green beans. We got our pot, I'm gonna put that on the stove. Then I'm gonna take some bacon, whatever kind of bacon you wanna use. I'm just using regular smoked bacon. 
And I just, I always, regardless of how, what I'm going to use in my bacon for, excuse me, I always cut the pack in half. So, I'm going to use half this pack. And this is going to go in the green beans. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So now, what the water is boiling, so I'm about to add me some oil. I like to add oil in my rice, y'all. Whatever kind of oil that you want to use, you, you use it. Okay, then I'm going to use some chicken seasoning. And that's going to flavor my water. And it's going to get the rice good flavor. Okay? I'm making a, a flavored type of rice. And the flavored rice that I'm making is a curry rice. So, also I'm going to add some parsley to that. Then I have my curry powder. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon of curry. Not too much. Yeah, probably about a, yeah, a little teaspoon. Okay. Never really had to me measure how much season I put in. I just, you know. All right, so now I'm going to take my rice and I'm going to dump it right on in. Then to that, I'm going to add some minced onion. I like to add the onion to the rice, y'all. It gives it a nice flavor. Give that a good stir. Because you're not supposed to continue to stir rice, stir rice, stir rice, stir rice, stir rice. So give it a good stir. You're going to let it come up to a boil while it's on high. When it come up to a boil, you're going to turn it down to medium and let it cook all the water out of it. Okay? Cook all the water out of it. So keep a watch on it. You're not going to stir in the mold or anything. Okay? So I got my bacon right here frying. Right there, right there, like that, right there. All right, y'all. So now I got my green beans. I got the bacon. Um, it's cooked up, and I got my green beans. I pulled the water off of them and rinsed them off. So now I'm putting them down in here. To this, I'm going to add some chicken seasoning, Ch chicken based seasoning, you know that's just for the chicken broth. I'm going to add a little of this Tony seasoning and that's for the kick and for the salt. Okay, I know we got some bacon grease in here, but we're going to add just a little bit of butter. You can add it if you want to, you ain't got to, it's up to you, do what you want to do to your stuff because it's yours, okay? Alright, so we're going to put that butter in there. I ain't add no water yet. Y'all remember them onions we thought we weren't going to be able to use? Okay. Put the onions in there. I'm going to take us some garlic. Got to get me some more garlic too. Get that off of in there. Okay. Hopefully I got enough done in there. And then I'm going to take some salsa. My secret ingredient. Salsa, y'all. I love salsa in my green beans. This is one of my favorite ways to make green beans. And I, it's just because of the stuff that's in the salsa, y'all. 
salsa has tomato, onion, garlic, um, jalapeno, um, what else? Um, and whatever else they got in here. It's good, y'all. I use it for those ingredients because I like just a little salsa in my green beans, y'all. And so now we're just going to get this right here mixed all around together. Get to know one another. With that bacon and everything. And we're going to take off some water and add it right down in the to it. About two cups of water. That was two cans of green beans. Okay. Now we're just going to get all this mixed around. Remember that was half a pack of bacon I put it put in here. So, I'm going to taste the broth on that. Taste the juice to see what how, how much seasoning that it got. If I need to add some more seasoning or whatever. But I'm going to taste my broth and see what I got. It tastes, it tastes, it tastes good. It tastes good, 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 good. Put the lid on there and let it cook. I like my green beans to cook for about a while. I like them to cook a while, y'all, because um, I use canned stuff, but I don't like it to have that canned taste. Okay, so cook the green beans for a while, for about 35 minutes. You know, that should be good enough. Let out, you know, everything come together and stuff like that. And... So we're going to check this rice. You see back here the rice might look a little underdone by the time the water cook out. That's what we want. We want it to look underdone because we don't want it to overcook. Or we don't want it to get all the way done. Because when we turn it off, we're going to let the lid stay on it. Let it sit on that eye. And it's going to finish cooking while it's sitting on the eye with the lid on and all that steam and stuff in there. So that's how y'all mess up rice because you try to overcook your rice. You try to add more water to it because it ain't done. No. If it ain't done, leave the lid on there. Let it sit on the eye and let it finish cooking. And you will have some nice, tender, perfect rice. I don't like fluffy um, rice. I hate fluffy rice with a passion, y'all. So, fluffy rice is mu fluffy rice is mushy rice to me, and I do not like for fluffy rice. I like my rice to stand alone. I told y'all that. But for those of you that is here new that don't know me, welcome Sugar Boo. But I don't like fluffy rice. I like my rice to be every grain to itself, individual rice, just nice, tender, nice and tender rice like that. So. It ain't done. The water ain't cooked out of yet, but when the water cook out, I'm going to turn it off and leave, let it stay right down that eye until everything is done. And by the time everything is completely finished, that rice going to be done. All right, so let's get back over here to this um, hamburgers and gravy. Ooh, yes. So, this is what we got. It uh, thickened up nicely. Yes. Got nice gravy on it. So this is done, y'all. So now I'm thinking we're waiting on it now is our green beans and our rice. And we're gonna be good to go. So I'm gonna turn this off and I'm just gonna take some foil and put it on top of it. To keep it hot and to keep the skin from coming on and stuff like that. So I'm gonna take that, put some foil on her. Let me get y'all closer so y'all can see it first. All right, family, this is the hamburgers. Ooh, yes, honey, boop boop. Okay, you better come through what you say. They go to rice, y'all. So we're gonna let the steam. Well, I turned it off already. We're gonna let the steam finish it and finish the green beans. Okay, so this is the green beans, y'all. It got cut off for some reason, but now it's, come, it's boiling, boiling real good. 
So the thing we're gonna do is take this bad boy and we're gonna turn it down on medium because it don't need to be up that high. Turn it down on medium until everything is done, the rice is done, and everything. I got that turned off, everything is turned off, the meat is covered up, and add another piece of oil to this side. And this is done, y'all. So I'll be back and show y'all a finished plate. All right, y'all. So dinner is done. Just got to turn this off. It's done. The rice is done. The best way to do uh, fluff your rice is with a fork. So you're going to fluff up your rice. Like that. And y'all look at that rice. Look at that rice there. It could use a little more salt, but other than that, it's, it's fine. But we're going to have some gravy to go on top of it, so hey. Green beans is done. Put y'all down here so y'all can see. Then we're gonna plate this up and then I'm coming back with the picture and show you what it looks like. Okay. All right, y'all. So this is the green beans with the bacon and all that goodness down in there. Mm -hmm. You. This the rice and this is the. This is how you have to do it now. Green beans, y'all, or certain vegetables. Put it up under the rice. Put it up under the. So this is our food, y'all. My husband plate. That's the smothered hamburger with the onions and the gravy and the green beans with that bacon and that curry rice on the bottom. Honey. Ooh, honey, boo boo. Okay. So this is it, y'all. Hope y'all like this video. Until next time, peace, love, many, many blessings to each and every one of you guys. You already know who this is. This is your girl, Tiana. I can only be me. I holla.